Good afternoon everyone on the way to Central Sydney to pick up clients. In one of my last video there was a question in the in the comment section below from Rega or Reja5861 and the question was in order to start a chauffeur business what's the best um, business structure whether is that a solo trader or LLS which stands for limited liability company or shortly should I start as a solo trader or as a company in this video I'm gonna be answering uh, these questions and talk about the pros or cons of the solo trader and a company my name is Ratko a Sydney based chauffeur aka Ray on this channel I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life As a chauffeur driver, the decision to stay solo trader or create a company always boils down to independence versus growth. When you're a solo trader, you're the boss. You set your own schedule, connect closely with clients and make all the decisions. It's a sweet spot having that control, but there is a limit to what one person can handle. You might miss out on big opportunities or get overwhelmed by too much work. One of the key questions you need to ask yourself is uh, what would you like to be recognized for as a chauffeur? That's one of the key questions. I would like to be recognized for always being on time. I would like to be recognized for always being punctual, reliable. I would like to be recognized for my professional presentation. What would you like to be recognized for? Starting as a solo trader was amazing for me. I had complete control, made my own rules and built personal connections with my clients. But on the other side, there were moments when I wished I could do more, serve more clients and take my services to the next level. Now think about forming a company. It means more business and growth potential. You can serve more clients, appear more trustworthy or expand your services. The only thing is this shift comes with a whole set of new challenges. Suddenly you're not driving anymore, but also you're managing a team. There are definitely high expenses to handle, more responsibilities, and also you might lose that personal touch that you had before as an independent personal chauffeur. Deciding between these options really depends on what you want. If you cherish the freedom of doing things your way and creating personal relationship with your clients, being a solo trader might be the best route for you. But if your dreams are bigger and you're okay with handling more complexity, forming a company definitely could be a ticket to growth. The choice you make ultimately shapes your path. Both sides have their perks and downsides. It's all about finding that sweet spot between independence and growth that fits your goals. From a financial standpoint, there's a significant difference between the two. Running solo keeps things simple. You earn what you make with minimal expenses. But forming a company comes with increased costs from salaries to vehicle maintenance, office expenses and more. However, the potential for higher earnings and bigger share of the market could also overweight these expenses in the long run. Let me break down the pros and cons of both. You know, being a solo chauffeur has its perks. I get to set my own schedule, make decisions on the fly and keep things simple. But I have to admit it can get a bit lonely on the road. One of the pros is the flexibility, which means my time, my rules. Also, the simplicity means no need to deal with a bunch of paperwork. From the cons, I can say I miss those water cooler chats. Also, because of one-man show can be overwhelming at times. Now, joining a chauffeur company brings a different vibe. It's like having a backup on the highway. You can take on the bigger gigs and the workload. It's shared, which means more people and more opinions. The first pro is the scalability which means handling those big events with the rest of the team. Also, you can share the load and not carrying the whole weight on your shoulders. Decision hurdles is one of the cons list uh, because sometimes getting everyone on the same page takes time. Also means more rules and company life means a bit more red tape. Let's talk about the nitty gritty. So as a solo driver, taxes are simpler, but uh, if the things go south, my wallet might feel the hit. One of the pros of the solo ride is easy taxes and also less paperwork. While the cons, like I said, your wallet takes the hit if the things go wrong. One of the pros is your cash stash is safe with the limited liability, while the cons paperwork game gets a bit stronger. 
whether you're cruising solo or hitting the road with a team, it's all about what suits you and your style and your goals. I like a bit of both, a bit of solo freedom and also occasional team cruise. It's all about finding that sweet spot on the chauffeur journey. It's about finding balance between what you love and where you want to go. For me, I've enjoyed the freedom and the personal connections as a solo trader and the growth opportunities and broader market reach as a company. It's a personal choice unique to each chauffeur's aspirations and what really they value most in their career. So whether you stay solo or build a company, it's about what makes you happiest and fulfilled in this journey of being a chauffeur. Both paths have their merits, it's just a matter of figuring out which one aligns best with your vision and your ambitions. So this is Central Sydney, at the moment is uh, almost 11 o'clock, so 5 minutes on to 11. Uh, I had booking uh, half past 10, uh, no one showed up, left uh, the location. So I got in touch with the person that I got the bookings from, so this is the valued client that I've been serving for many, many years, corporate client. I've explained uh, that I've been on location for the last 25 minutes. In that situation where no one shows up, uh, it's uh, obviously cancel and charge. I had to leave the hotel and I'm on the way home. I feel, I feel so tired, I feel extremely tired, more mentally than physically because the last few days they've been absolutely exhausting. So this was another day in my show for life. Remember on this ride called life, success often comes from finding the right balance. So enjoy the journey and drive on my friend.